Lately, I've been thinking a lot about the games I used to play way back when, before Always Online, before microtransactions, I mean, before DLC was a thing, period. This was probably around the PlayStation 1 era. That was my childhood console. And I'm not kidding when I say a much younger me used to spend a ridiculous amount of time playing Spyro the Dragon, Resident Evil 1, Dino Crisis, Soul Reaver, Siphon Filter, and I could honestly just keep going. Can we all just agree that the PlayStation 1 had some absolute top tier games? Still waiting on a few remasters over here, just saying. And when I start getting all nostalgic and teary-eyed, there is one game in particular that always comes to mind. No, no, stop that. How old do you think I am? I am, of course, talking about Metal Gear Solid. Before I go on, I would like to say a thank you to Konami for gifting me the key to the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1 over on Steam, which has allowed me to take this trip down memory lane. The Master Collection Volume 1 includes five games, two retro Metal Gear games, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, and Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, and a whole bunch of additional content. Thanks again for the code, now let's get into the video. I have played a lot of Metal Gear Solid. I had the stealth camo, I had the infinite ammo bandana, and I may or may not have seen Meryl hanging out in her underwear. But the part I have played more than any other part of this game was the opening section. Not because I was particularly fond of it, but because my first ever experience with Metal Gear Solid was on one of these. There was nothing I loved more than skipping down to the corner shop and picking up the latest copy of the PlayStation magazine with a fresh new demo disc. Telling you, those were the days. I can remember playing the opening section, arriving on the submarine, the codec call with Roy Campbell, then sneaking my way to that elevator over and over again, learning the enemy patrols, finding the few hidden rations, but the demo always ended as you ascended that elevator after Liquid Snake. So imagine my excitement when I got the full game for the first time and finally got up that elevator and realized just how much more there is to this game and just how clever it can be, with you actually needing to explore the game's physical box to find a specific character's codec frequency. And at one point, one of the main boss fights have him criticize your taste in games by reading your memory card from your PlayStation 1. I mean, honestly, it was just incredible for its time. Just in case you were born after 2005, Metal Gear Solid was an action-adventure stealth game, or as the box reads, a tactical espionage action game developed and published by Konami and written by Hideo Kojima. It was released on the PlayStation 1 in September 1998. Metal Gear Solid sees Solid Snake, a stealth and espionage expert, infiltrate a nuclear weapons facility in Antarctica, occupied by the Rebel Special Forces unit, Foxhound. Snake's former unit. He's sent in to find the DARPA chief Donald Anderson and arms tech president Kenneth Baker, and to assess if Foxhound have the potential to launch a nuclear attack. After learning that Foxhound have Metal Gear Rex, a mobile nuclear weapons platform, Snake takes on Foxhound, intending to disable Metal Gear Rex and take down Liquid Snake, the head of Foxhound, before it's too late. In the PlayStation 1 era, a full stealth game in the way Metal Gear Solid pulled it off was quite rare. However, MGS was not the first. Metal Gear Solid is actually based on the original series simply known as Metal Gear. Released in 1987, Metal Gear pioneered the idea of stealth in video games, with you needing to avoid being seen by enemies, staying out of their line of sight. Metal Gear had you play as a rookie Solid Snake, trying to stop a powerful weapon that had fallen into the enemy's hands. The stealth elements of the gameplay would reappear in the sequel Metal Gear 
Solid Snake, sharing a very similar gameplay loop as Metal Gear, if not, in my opinion, a little trickier to control. Metal Gear Solid Snake was the first appearance of Roy Campbell as the new commander of Foxhound, pulling Solid Snake out of retirement to take on a terrorist organization in Zanzibar. Until recently, I hadn't actually played through either of these two previous games. But after putting in a few hours with both, I can definitely see where the inspiration that led to the release of Metal Gear Solid came from, with a heavy emphasis on stealth, line of sight, and covert gameplay. Looking past Metal Gear Solid to Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, which was released in 2001, it really modernized many elements of Metal Gear Solid, including more detailed particle effects, first-person aiming, and of course, eyes. But most importantly, it brought the best protagonist to the series. Snake. Snake's back. Who else did you think I meant? Unlike the first game, Sons of Liberty's story is told through two different characters, seeing the return of Solid Snake and introducing the fabulous Raiden, the newest member of Foxhound. Replaying Sons of Liberty actually hit me harder than I thought it would, with memories rushing back of sneaking through the tanker as Snake and cartwheeling around as Raiden. Metal Gear Solid 2 did a great job of taking what made the first game so great and moving it forward to a new generation of console, the PlayStation 2. Now, it's confession time. I have never actually played Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Despite it being one of the more popular titles in the franchise, it's a game that I just missed out on and never really went back to tick off my list. Well, thanks to the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1, that's something I plan to change. Actually, after replaying through a few of these, I've really had the urge to work my way back through the entire franchise. So I genuinely think I'm going to start at Metal Gear Solid 1 and work my way all the way through to 5. If you have never played a Metal Gear game and fancy a bit of tactical stealth action, I would highly recommend any game in this franchise. And if you can look past the graphics, I can wholeheartedly recommend Metal Gear Solid as a great place to start. It's an incredible game and honestly some mechanics in there that I really think will surprise you. Thank you for taking this little walk down memory lane with me and thank you again to Konami and Keymailer for gifting me the key. If you'd like to pick up the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1 for yourself, there is a link in the description. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more Metal Gear content, please let me know in the comments below. It's a game series I'm very passionate about and something I'd really like to talk more about. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any future content. If you want to support the channel, you can become a channel member here on YouTube or join over on Patreon. Links are in the description. Have a great day, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Snake, respond. Snake, snake!